we're live. Hey everyone, welcome to your PSP Halifax work in for today, the Tuesday, 13th October, just after Thanksgiving, but you can do this anytime. Um, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown, and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. Now, get yourselves ready. You can put on your own music. I'm not going to have any live music here so that you can hear me okay through the microphone. But if you want to put something on and can still hear me and follow along with the workout, you're welcome to do that too. Today's force focus is the strength per portion of our supplementary physical training program to meet the minimum physical fitness standard for the Canadian Armed Forces here at CFB Halifax Fleet Fitness and Recreation Center. My name is Dave Akar and I'll be leading you through today's workout. So come with me, the things that you're gonna need are a light resistance band, uh, TRX if you've got it available, and either dumbbells, if you don't have dumbbells, you can always use soup cans, and uh, I have the kettlebell or something heavier that you can load up like a backpack. So come on with me and we'll get into today's warm up. So today's warm up, you wanna get started with some light physical aerobic activity so that maybe you start with some jumping jacks. Anything that you find easy, you might go for a light jog, you might run in place. If you've got some space available to you, you might run in a few different laps. You might have a couple lunges, calisthenic, Body weight exercises are always just as good as running, especially if you have any limitations. High impact arthritis can be cleared up by running, so you might avoid that. Just do a few little stretches, whatever you got that helps you get ready to fitness. You might even throw down a little burpee. And we'll get into our warm up. So today's warm up. It's going to be core based and uh, using the resistance band. So wherever you are able to rig up a TRX will be great to rig up your resistance band as well. And we'll just start out by getting underneath the resistance band, holding it way up overhead, making sure that there's tension on the band, and then using straight arms, activating the lats and pulling down on a slow tempo. That way you can do this for approximately 45 seconds but I'm not gonna time you, just to get 10 reps going. Good, if your warm up gets you a little bit heavy breathing, that's perfect. But if you lose the ability to talk, if I lose the ability to talk especially, I'll know that I've gone too hard. And 10. Then, again, with straight arms out in front of you, you might need to bring your hands a little bit closer together if the resistance band is too heavy. We'll come into a banded pull apart. So you'll find that different distances will apply different pressure, different resistance for your muscles. And we're still going through 10 across about 45 seconds, squeezing the shoulder blades together in front of the chest to activate those posture muscles, the rhomboids and traps on your back, making sure that you're braced through your core and that you're exhaling on exertion. So you can inhale when the hands come in and exhale as the hands come out. And 10, great. From there, you can let go of the resistance band, come onto hands and knees, come a little bit closer for you. And we're gonna do a bird dog with a little bit of an added crunch. So you can start with just the leg extending and crunching the knee into your chest. It doesn't need to go up very high, just straight as the same height as your hip is good. And if you want a little bit more, you can add the hand and crunch knee to elbow. And just like the banded poles, 
we're doing 10, but this time it's 10 on each side. And extend. Switching sides, one, two, try to keep shoulders and hips level, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From there, we'll do three rounds. So, coming back to your bands, and this time we'll count the tempos. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Down, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Up, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Up, and down. And you can go at your own pace. If you find I'm getting ahead of you, go ahead and pause the video. You can always rewind. Seven, eight, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Keeping tension at the top. Three, nine, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Last one, ten, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Three one thousand. Those thousands are going to get pretty boring, so we're just going to follow the breath. Deep breath in, long breath out. And we got a lot planned for today. You'll need your dumbbells next. Nine and ten. Coming back to center, putting that down, and coming into your bird dogs. We'll give you a different angle this time. Getting that reach forwards, keeping everything level, and then driving in. Exhaling as you crunch to activate more of your abs. Way there. And switching sides. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. If you need to count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and squeeze. Should be getting pretty warm now on this cold October day. Good to have a little physical activity, get your blood flowing, keep your fingers warm. And 10. Good. And we'll go through one more set. One, two, three, three, two, one. Keeping tension between your hands and keeping tension overhead. So it shouldn't get all loosey goosey. You should keep that turned on. And this is one of the best purchases you can make if you're trying to outfit a little home gym of your own. Is the light resistance band. The opportunities for exercises are endless because anywhere that you can pull on it, you can work out. And call it 10 and apart. Ooh. And you can always double it up for more resistance if you want to pull it in two. You can wrap it around your hands to give you more resistance. Limitless possibilities with just a simple elastic. Last one. And putting it back. Whew. Give your shoulders a roll. If they've tensed up, that's good. It means they're working. And we'll go back. And this time, we're going to alternate sides. Right and left. Right, and left. So different options based on your level. You could even ramp it up if you're finding that you want a little bit more abdominal stimulation by holding and hovering your opposite knee off the ground. As long as you're not waving all over the place, left and right. 
Good, so shake it out, get a sip of water, drop my water bottle today. But we'll keep it going. So our first uh, strength exercise, now that we're done our warm up, is going to involve your dumbbells. So we're gonna do two exercises, 10 reps of each movement for four rounds. The first one, I'll do a couple of demos and then we'll work out together. It's going to be a floor press. So laying down on the ground, keeping your elbows at 45 degrees to the body. You can bend your knees to plant your feet. So you're gonna stretch your legs and lay your head down so that you're not overstressing your neck. And a floor press is just gonna look up and down. So it gives you a chest workout without having to invest in a bench or a barbell. And then pairing that with a bent over row. So you wanna have an athletic stance. If your feet are too close together, you're gonna to get wobbly. Hinge in, so a soft knee, so you've got slack on your hamstrings, you shouldn't be too tight there. And aiming to be parallel with the floor. Maybe you're up here around 45 degrees, but if you're getting up here, it's gonna be hard to uh, train the upper back muscles of your rhomboids and shoulders, because it's gonna be all coming up into your traps, and that could give you a headache later. So just be mindful of that angle and focusing on where you're targeting the bench over row. So it's all right. So like I said, 10 reps of each movement, starting with the floor press. And you can do it on a tempo if you only have one set of dumbbells, but you wanna make it a little bit harder, then you can one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and down for three 1,000, two 1,000, one 1,000. But if your weights are good and you feel more comfortable not counting the time that it takes, then you can just go ahead and perform 10 repetitions, six, seven, with your elbows just grazing the ground. You don't want to take rest in between. You want to keep tension on the chest muscles. Nine, 10, good. Put your dumbbells down. Stand up safely and then pick up your dumbbells, bend over and give it a row. Could be one 1,000, two 1,000, squeeze shoulder blades at the top, three 1,000, two 1,000, one down, or just repping them out. In our group fitness classes, we usually do this on an interval timer, but for your benefit, to get the most possible workout in over our uh, time that we have live together, we're gonna just do four rounds of 10 reps. Putting the weights down, lying down again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Important to keep your abs braced. Seven, eight, by focusing on your muscles. Nine, you can get more out of every muscle, even if it isn't the primary focus of the exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Halfway there. One, two, three, four, five. Try not to hold your breath. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The benefit of supersetting these movements is you get that extra sit up, get up in between each one. A little bit more abdominal work. Two, three, four, five, six. Especially here, you want to keep the low back turned on not hanging out, and definitely not letting your back round forwards. This is all about strengthening those muscles that keep you from slouching. Nine, 10, last set here. One, two, three. If you 
you need a little bit more time to rest, again, go ahead, pause the video, take a little break, take 30 seconds in between sets if that helps you out. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And last one. One, two, three, four. Looking straight down, try not to crank your head either up or down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Good set. So that's our first upper body pump. We got a little push on, we got a little pull on. So next up, we want to target on the legs. So you'll take your kettlebell, put it safely in front of you. Making sure that this is a hinge motion. So that's a great reason why we started with the bent over row, to train that safe, active bent over position. Bending over the kettlebell with a proud chest. Should be able to see the logo on my shirt. Shoulder blades retract. Again, that's why we warmed up the row. We're prepped for this movement, this big lift, deadlift, the kettlebell up to the hips, and back down again. If there's a lot of tension on your hamstrings, then don't worry about putting the dumbbell or the kettlebell all the way back down on the floor. That's fine. You shouldn't be rounding your back. You should put it down safely. And then your next option is either the air squat, that's nice, or the squat here, where the chest stays upright, your vertical and your torso, and it's the knees and the legs that are doing the heavy lifting, or my personal favorite, the goblet squat, where you're holding the kettlebell up as if it was a goblet, have a nice drink, and squat that way. That way you get a little bit more arm action at the same time. So let's do four rounds, 10 reps, either choose to do tempo or rep them right out. So deadlifts, down, and up. I had to bend a bit, I already held the kettlebell. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, feel a burn in the back of your legs, seven. Eight. Your legs don't need to stay stiff the whole time. Nine. Near the bottom of the action, you should bend the knees so that you can lower safely and keep your back neutral. First round. Air squats. One, two, three. You'll see my arms moving because it helps me to keep my torso up as my hips descend. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back to the deadlift. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, three one thousand, two one thousand, one one thousand, two one thousand, two one thousand, three, squeeze your glutes at the top, and down, three, two, one, one, two, squeeze, three, two, one, four, Five, six, remember you push your knees out, externally rotate the hips, seven, eight, keep your shoulder blades squeezed together, proud chest, nine, neck neutral, just like in the bent over row. Good, for the next one, squatting with the kettlebell in hand, one, sitting the hips back, two, this is a great exercise because it exactly mimics the squat that you should be doing as you're lifting sandbags for real life stacking a protective barrier or in the case of your force evaluation doing 30 lifts per time eight nine ten but as you know as you're doing uh, repetitions of exercises of heavier weight quickly, the forearm can start to go, your squats might start to look more like deadlifts, which is again, another acceptable lift. Three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set, goblet squat. One, we can even add the tempo. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Down. And up. Three. Down. And up. Four. Down. Knees up. Bum squeeze. Tummy squeeze. Five. Down. And up. Six. Down. And up. Seven. Down. And up. Making sure you're sitting back so your knees don't go into a dangerous position. And if you're worried about the depth, you can sit down to a chair, just like the floor press, trying not to rest at the bottom, but just using it as a guide to keep you active. 10. Good job. That's four sets, four sweats, and we'll get on to our second set of upper body action. This time, working the shoulders. So the first exercise is going to be a strict press with the, the dumbbells at shoulder height pushing by keeping the core active, the legs and glutes turned on, and pressing strict overhead, just using the arms and shoulders. And because I'm using light weight, I'll show you what it shouldn't look like. So try not to lean back, protect your low back. My simple cue is to push your head forwards of your arms. So you could be here, but here is a safer position that's using all of your shoulder and back muscles. Abs turned on to keep everything vertical and no unnecessary arching. Okay. And then for the next one, that we're supersetting together, you'll need your TRX. If you don't have a TRX at home, but you still want to do this workout, then uh, you can again, you can hold onto your band and you can pull the bicep in, and we're just looking to find the same upper body position as we carry sandbags for the simulated uh, casualty drag. So on this one, you can lean back, and we can do this two ways. We can again, row the elbows by the ribs and pull them in, or you can hold the elbows up nice and high in a front rack position, with the palms facing your uh, face and holding this position for up to 30 seconds. For our purposes, again, for counting and for keeping it live, we will be doing reps, but you're gonna work at your own level. So if that's really hard, you can always go to the band, you can keep your feet further out up here and only putting a little bit of your body weight into the bands. If you wanna go harder, then you can bring your feet closer to underneath your anchor point. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Wrap them out, shoulders, head forwards, arms straight at the top, still squeezing the shoulder blades together. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Good. Dumbbells down safely. TRX rows. One, two, three, four. Really important not to let your hips sag here. Five, six, seven, eight. Your whole body planks as it comes up together. Nine, ten. Back to the strict press. Side view. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Safely pivot them down. Remember that deadlifts. 
same position. Every time anything appearing goes to the floor. One, two. If you're having trouble keeping your palms facing inwards, you can do hammer grip and face the palms together. That's still an effective row, but it's not exactly the adaptation that we're looking for to get you holding the sandbag higher and stronger. Eight, nine, and as I said, you can pause the video now. We're halfway through these sets. And we'll get into the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And row. One, two, three. You want to get your ribs up as high as your hands. Four. If you have a slippery floor, you can bend your knees, but don't bend the hips. Six, seven, eight. Keep your shoulders down so you don't tense up your neck. Nine, ten, and for our last set, making sure that it's strict, we'll do a tempo. You don't want to be cheating and popping your legs up. You want to slow it down. Three, two, one. Especially on the eccentric face. That means when the dumbbells are coming down, you're building more strength. Three, two, one. Three. Two, one. Good, four more. Breathing on that count. One more for good measure. Yeah. Putting them down. Last one. Let's do 30 seconds here. Holding, holding tight. Keeping the abs tight, keeping your head on straight, working at your own level. That way the arms stay engaged for 30 whole seconds. Again, you can walk it out or in as you need. Just burn up every last ounce of strength so you're stronger tomorrow. Five, four, three, two, and one. Setting it down. Woo -wee. So far, so good. We've got one more upper body left just to polish off any energy that might be left in your arms. So again, you can do this with the band and focus on uh, rowing the bicep up. Get a little bit of a different angle. And then turning the palms over and pressing the tricep down. So we're doing 10 of each either with the bands, or if you want to use the dumbbells, if they're an appropriate weight for your upper body, then you can curl for 10, and then bend over and tricep kick back for 10, for four rounds. Now, I'll alternate between both, because I've got all the equipment I need at my disposal, but you do what works for you, and follow my count. Ready? Three, two, one. One. Two, again, keeping the core turned on as we stand. Maybe squeezing the bum a little bit, keep the glutes tight, halfway there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend over, kick back, keep the elbows and shoulder blades up. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eyes slightly forward, eight, nine, ten. Safely put them down if you're taking a little break in between. I'm switching to my band over here, taking a step back, and bicep. One, two, need to step back enough so I keep tension on. Three, four, I always lower my elbows. Two, five, six, seven. 
eight, nine, ten. Turn my hands around and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Two more rounds. Back to the dumbbells if you've got them, or still on the dumbbells if you like them. One, two, and there where it's just the arms, it's hard to remember to keep everything active, so I'm going to remind you. Abs on, legs on, bums on. Five, six, seven, and you can slow it down. Three, two, one, eight. Three, two, one, nine. Three, two, one, ten. Three, two, one. Kicking back. One, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, three, three, two, one. Feels like skiing. Four, three, two, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last set. Step it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set of triceps. One, two, three, four. I find this harder than the dumbbells. Five, six, because you're more focused on keeping tension the whole time. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Great job, everyone. Now, we've done a lot of work on the upper body. We've done some major lifts with the legs. Let's build from the ground up as we stretch. So we're going to take a forward fold to stretch out the glutes and the hamstrings. Maybe athletic stance, maybe as narrow as your hips, or maybe a lot wider. Keeping the slack on the legs, bend down until you feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Maybe supporting the upper body on your legs. Maybe your dumbbells become in handy and folding right down with a straight back. Remember to keep your shoulder blades together just because the active strength portion of the workout is done doesn't mean you can make your body all loosey-goosey. And holding here for 30 to 60 seconds. The appropriate amount of time for stretch. If 30 seconds is too much, then you can do four sets of 15 seconds. three sets of 20 seconds, whatever seems to work for you. Just let your muscles get through that awkward, shaky, uncomfortable part, because that's your body's response and reflex to the stretching. You need to get through that to get any benefit. So take your time, a few deep breaths. Stand it up and take an offset lunge, keeping your hips pointed with your front foot and to bend in the knee, straightening up, turning the abs on, the tailbone down. And then with your back arm lifted, go ahead and do another little side bend here. Pushing down into your back heel, you should feel some stretch through your calf. As your chest and tummy lifts up, you should feel some stretch through the front of your hips. And a nice little side stretch under your arm. Good. And switch sides. Find that stretch in your hips first because it's all going to come out of there. Lengthening the arm overhead is just using your fascia to get a little bit more stretch into your leg, across your full body. And then juicing it a little bit as you go over to the side. 
getting the most out of the time held in each stretch. You can do the deodorant check, see if you need to shower before you uh, head out of the house or head back to the office. Two, one, straighten up your back and step forwards. Next up, we'll take a much deeper lunge, taking the knee, making sure that you're balanced and leaning in. Again, hand can go up. Now we're looking for stretching the uh, quad. If you want, you can put your leg into a wall for a couch stretch to activate more of your quadricep. Lower down towards the knee. Should be feeling a good stretch there. Whether your foot is up or your foot is down, work your stretch at your own level. This shouldn't be pain, but it's definitely uncomfortable. And if you're not having any trouble there, again, use your arms to extend the reach up over your head to the wall behind you or just straight up overhead will work too. Three, two, one. Put your hands down so you can pivot, come up onto both knees, get one knee back and step up into the lunge, hold it there. Wait for the first feeling of uh, reflex and of discomfort, subside a little bit. Deep breaths, you're okay here. As long as you're not going into the pain cave. Maybe the hands go up, maybe just one hand at first. See how you feel. Maybe you add the second hand. That definitely turns it on a little bit higher. so that it's not going to loosen when you're pulling down with your resistance band. And if you don't have that, but it's a nice day, go find a tree branch. It's nice to get outside. The fresh air definitely helps with the recovery from your exercise. Coming down, pivot, and sit down right on your bum. Taking a figure four with the legs, and then bending the knee up, bringing your calf closer to your chest. Ooh, feel that stretch through the glutes. You can get your chest a little bit closer to your calf, or you can bring your standing foot in. But what you want to avoid is slouching. So maintain a neutral spine, a bend in the elbow so your shoulder blades can come together, and keep maintaining that big positive posture. Wide open ribs for nice deep breaths. And thank you so much for coming out. Hope to see all of you again in the gym soon. If not this gym, I hope you can get to some gym. And take advantage, switch sides if you haven't already. Take advantage of some of these workouts. Either on Facebook or on YouTube, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel, PSP Halifax for a huge catalog of all the online workouts that we've put out so far. Whether you're still at home working out with body weight, no equipment, or whether you have a little home gym now set up, or whether you're taking us with you into your own favorite gym. Good, uncross the knees, soles of the feet together for our favorite butterfly stretch. Still using the hands to support the neutral posture of your spine. Push your feet together and your knees apart. This is a lot of our lower body stretching. We'll have a few seated stretches for our upper body. and go back if you're 
still feeling a little stiff, you can always do the same stretching routine two, three, maybe four rounds as your body allows. So you can sit cross-legged, knees bent, whatever works for you, and take your elbow up behind your head. If you want to stand up for this, you can as well. Just reaching and giving the elbow a little bit of a draw down. If it's forcing your head down, ease up a little bit. But if you're really flexible, then clasp your fingers behind your back so that you can pull your elbow down behind your head. So this is stretching your tricep, maybe a little bit of those back muscles, your lats. Yeah. Unwind, switch sides. Start with the easiest modification to get through that initial discomfort. Keep your posture turned on. And find the variation of each stretch that works best for you. Don't forget to drink lots of water after your exercise. Refuel. vegetables on your plate when you're having a nice protein snack post-workout. Just like Popeye, the spinach does you good. Next up, a little bit of an internal rotation stretch. So you can put your palm facing out behind your hip, take your opposite hand, and just hug it forwards ever so slightly. Again, avoiding pain, but if it makes you uncomfortable, through the shoulder, maybe a little bit through the chest. You're going to feel this wherever you're the tightest. And this is one that I need to do four sets of 15 seconds. Ease back. A nice open angel for your shoulder and switch sides. stood up, we're going to make our way back to our floor for the last exercise here. Put the feet out in front. Hold on to the knees. If you have the, re the reach to go underneath the knees and clasp hold of opposite shins, that's good too. And then actively stretch. Pull your belly button in, your tummy back, separating your shoulder blades that have worked so hard to hold your posture upright. I'm giving you permission to slouch. You can even tuck your chin into your chest. To feel a nice opening rounding of your back, the whole back muscle. For 15, 30, or even 60 seconds. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to us here at the Fleet Fitness and Recreation Center in CFD Halifax. Here's the awkward part where I close this off.